Guess who's back? This is for the ones who you Arsenal Football Club have actually gone and done it. They've actually gone and got their business done earlier, or at least some business, a striker. Is this guy the truth? Is he the answer? It's really actually, it's, it's a disgrace how we've treated Mesut Ozil, if you think about it. What is going on, people? Welcome back to another video. My name is Hugh Izzy, and boy, it's good to be back. Finally, the Wiz Doctor has come back. To YouTube and boy oh boy it's with good reason because it's gas time up in the wow I know you've missed me I've missed you too I needed a break because my mental state was questionable this club can do that to you but it would seem that we are doing things the right way we are getting business done early with the signing off I'm so gassed right now I'm actually sweating my tits off because I've been playing football and my fitness levels are piss poor but I thought that today warranted a video. Today of all days, people really warranted a video. Let's talk about Alexandre Lacazette. Let's talk about the signing of the century. Arsenal's record signing. A massive amount of money slapped down. And one of the only top strikers really available, I guess, that isn't going to be going for an extortionate price. If you look at Morata being linked with Manchester United, 60 to 70 to 75 million euros, pounds, either which way, it doesn't really seem to matter now with the exchange rates, but that's a lot of money. Who's gassed? Who's gassed? I'm extremely gassed. We've got ourselves the French Ian Wright. We could have faith when we look at the Arsenal team now. When we go into games, we have a striker who is capable of getting in behind. No offence to the man mountain, the icon that is Olivier Giroud, but this guy, he's a different kettle of fish, isn't he? Giroud, Olivier, has been such a, a great servant to the club. He deserves a, a not a statue, but maybe a, a paper mache, paper mache thing, you know, one of those. He's a great plan B, but I'm not sure that he's going to be that happy to sit on the bench when he's got to get himself into the World Cup squad. With that being every player's focus right now, you're going to see some really intense matchups this year. It's going to be incredible. The signings we're seeing already are really promising. And I've got to say, if Arsenal USA can keep hold of Alexis Sanchez, which is the key, it's the key, it's the secret, it's the law of attraction, it's everything encompassed in the direction of this football club. If we can keep Alexis Sanchez, then we may well be in business, boys, because a wide player added to this lineup that we've got on our hands already means we are a threat. We are going to be able to mount a title challenge. We need a big squad this year, boys. We really do need a big squad this year. Make no mistake about it, though, Arsene Wenger has dipped his little finger into the cash pot. The war chest has been unleashed, and I'm proud to say. The fans have really got what they've deserved. We've waited a long time for this. Five fucking years to be precise. To precise. <laughs> and I'm, uh, I'm just over the fucking moon. I started this YouTube journey, ironically, when Robin... He whose name we shall not speak upon. I started my YouTube journey when it was all happening. And I feel that now is an, just a, a perfectly apt time to make the return. And we will be back with the daily videos for that ass. Because that ass needs tapping. Wow. <laughs> Sorry about that. I don't know what. It's the heat. Lacazette. Lac Lacazette. Lacazette. Lac Lacazette. Do we mean business this year? It really is going to be interesting to see who is let go, who stays and sees it out and tries to bring us back to where we belong, which is the Champions League. But it's a beautiful thing to have signed a striker. It's a beautiful thing to not have to sign this motherfucker on Football Manager and FIFA every time I put on career mode. We have electrifying pace in that front three of Mesut Ozil. Alexis! Please don't go Sanchez. And Alexandre the Laka Laka. The lack of sweat. New additions all over the place. Legends being brought back into business. Jens 
He's a bit of a nutter, isn't he? And I think it will be the first to give anyone a kick up the backside with Jack Wiltshire back in the squad with Danny Welbeck looking strong. Santi not injured, as many were reporting. And, oh my God, it's so hot. I hope Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain isn't going to be leaving and going to Liverpool as well because I know that his agent is trying to tempt him into making a move, making himself some money. But I think now's the time, boys. Stick together. Stick together. Let's add another as well. Let's have another one. Another one. Another one. <laughs> another one. Let's add a Mares. Riyad, my baby boy, True Ballers FC in the building. But let's not forget about what today is all about. Like a new signing. I mean, forget all the marketing. Is he going to fit? The pressure really is on, especially if Alexis Sanchez leaves. I have to stress how pivotal that is. I don't really know what to do about the whole situation. I'd love to know your thoughts. We'll do a video on the Alexis Sanchez situation because I really don't know what to do about it. I've got to be honest with you, but I have to say that this is a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day. Rejoice. Join me, brothers, in rejoicing in the fact that we may well have a new Titi Henri on our hands. A Guadalupian striker himself, born in Lyon. He has left after doing the business there and getting himself a, a hundred goals. Beautiful. A hundred goals. He's a legend. The fourth top scorer in Lyon's history. An incredible achievement from a guy who stayed loyal when he could have left years before. And I know that Arsene Wenger and Arsenal have been looking at this guy for ten years. Ten Yes, I mean, <laughs> I mean, 10 years, are we having a laugh? <laughs> However, he's in the bag, he's in the shirt, and he's looking damn good in the shirt, so I may say so myself. Yeah, let's keep him wrapped up in swaddling clothes, right? Let's keep him, let's keep him safe, because he has got a lot of goal scoring to do. And I know he's been called a penalty merchant, he scored, I think, 36. Seven goals this season was it in all competitions or was it 28 goals in all competitions one or the other correct me if I'm wrong I'm super gassed right now ten of those are penalties as well so he has been called a penalty merchant but I've seen the guy scoring goals for many a year I've wanted this guy or been at least very interested in signing him and why no one else has signed him I have to admit after all these years but the fact is he has proved consistent he has proved to be one of Ligue 1's best players. He's won Ligue 1 Player of the Year once. He's been a top scorer once, but he has been in the team of the season three or four times. He's got serious potential at Arsenal Football Club with the likes of Meza Ozil, Santi Cazorla, if he can get himself back to fitness, and Alexis Sanchez. I mean, Granit Xhaka spraying those balls through and over the top. I mean, it's an exciting prospect, lads, and I hope to goddamn hell that you are pumped for the season because I'm nearly ready. Let's just have, let's have one, another one. My name's been Hugh Izzy, and this has been <laughs> a lot of fun. Make sure you subscribe, drop the video a like if you're enjoying the fact that the Wiz Doctor is back, Doctor. And <sighs> put some fucking respect on that man's name. Hmm? Put some respect on Wenger's name. <laughs> The boy. I'm happy for him. I'm so happy for him. He's going shopping. He's being allowed to go and dip into the transfer market, identify a target and bang, get it done nice and early. No messing around. And that's exactly what is needed. It's what's been needed for a long time. And there's no more waiting. Well, the only waiting is that we're waiting for the season to start now. And I just hope to God that the rest of the side doesn't start to crumble what with the rumours of Alexis Sanchez being linked to Man City because it is worrying. I know that the guy that actually signed him for Pep Guardiola is now linked up with him from Barcelona at Man City already. It's cheeky, I can't remember his name. It's a dangerous prospect, especially when you consider the fact that Alexis doesn't ever stay longer than three years at a club. I think he was at Udinese for five years, but two of those were on loan, so basically three years at a club. I hope that's not the plan for his footballing legacy. Because he could become an Arsenal legend. And if you're watching this, Alexis Sanchez, if you're watching, if you smell what Arsene Wenger is trying to do, what he's trying to put together, the crack, the crazy crack that Mr. Wenger is putting together. You need to stay. Don't make that same mistake. Please don't make that same mistake. Arsenal Football Club, if you're watching and he tries to chat shit, yeah, if he thinks he's too big for the bollocks, right? Just lock him up, lock him up.
Lock him up. Lock him the fuck up. Do not sell him to Manchester City. And I know I've heard this argument of, oh, you're going to get money and you can replace him. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let me in your eyes. Where are your eyes? There. Right? Let me in your eyes. Look. We're not going to be able to replace Alexis Blood Club Sanchez. <laughs> So wake up and smell the coffee and realise that we need to get this deal done, to get this contract done. We need to convince him to stay because those rumours aren't going to go away, especially now that we've signed a top boy. Top boys, that's what we are, right? Top boys, are we top boys? Are we top boys in this? I think we may well be. I think we may well be a dangerous force to be reckoned with that people will be thinking twice. But because this guy, he can play hold up. He can play in behind. He can play quick two-touch football. He can bang it, he can dribble. I mean, if you're being negative and you want me to play devil's advocate, he's also a bit like a strong Theo Walcott and he may well be a little bit overrated and he is unproven and, you know, <laughs> it's only League One Farmers. But I'm not going to have that at all because it's the boy. Welcome to the club, my son. I think he's got a legacy ahead of him. I think he could actually become an Arsenal legend, possibly one of the best strikers since Ian Wright. He's certainly in the mould of a Wrighty. And if he brings that energy and he's got the clinical, clinical thing that I think we've been missing in Welbeck and Giroud and also that Wenger plays him and doesn't mistreat him like he did Lucas Perez. <sighs> then we could be in business and I'm very excited about what's coming next. Another one, please. Let me know in the comment section below what you think of the signing, whether you think Arsenal OSC is uh, gonna let Alexis Sanchez go or whether this is the year that we do things differently. Have we learned our lesson? Have we actually learned a blood clue lesson? I'd love to know your thoughts um, because I'm not really sure where I stand on it myself. I think that it probably is wise if he does want to leave to cash in on him, but only at a certain price, like 50, 60, 70 million. And because he's only got a year left in his contract, is that really realistic? I don't know if it is. 50 mil, would you take that? But not to Man City. And then if you're going to sell him abroad, maybe you've got to sell him for less, like 30. Do you want to let him go for 30? You may as well just not keep him, play him, and you could probably make 30 million worth from where he's going to get you with his goals and assists and his contribution in general. Or he could become a poisonous little apple, rotten to the core, who could destroy the chemistry in the dressing room all in one foul swoop. I don't really know where I stand on it. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I know one thing, that's for sure, is that I don't see any of the money, so I couldn't really care about the price tags. It's just something that people like banter themselves off with, like, £89 million for Pogba. Well, you know, marketing, you know, youth potential, etc., etc. There's a whole lot of things that play into these transfer fees, which are just ridiculously, they're just mad these days, aren't they? Anyway, I'm waffling, but that's because I'm so excited to see you. Ladies and gentlemen, it's been an absolute pleasure. I'm gonna love you and leave you here, and I'll be back with another video tomorrow. Let me know in the comment section, like I said, what you would like me to talk about in the next video. Perhaps there'll be more signings. We could do a summary of the transfer window. It's not just gonna be Arsenal on this channel anymore. It's gonna be football. It's gonna be a lot of things that, like interviews and whatnot, that I've got in the pipeline, basically. So I'm very excited about what I'm gonna be bringing you, but, I wanted to wait until there was something good to talk about and I was nervous that this wasn't going to happen. But it has! He's ours! He's in the bag, baby! Welcome to the Club Alexandre. Until next time, my name's been you, Rizzy, and this has been a lot of fun. Peace. Oh, wait. Make sure you subscribe. I forgot about all that shit. Yeah, subscribe, like the video, share the video, retweet the tweets, and you get gold stars, yeah? Gold stars lead to follows, follows lead to DMs, and then we make babies. All right? See you later.